Because when you're talking about being typecast and not being worried about it, so that means that you know over the years people people you people use your acting clips as a meme. Yes. Oh, ritual yes. sacrifices. Yes. So that means that when you look at it, you just smile. It doesn't. It never made you feel uncomfortable. No, it doesn't make me because good a thing. You are a good. In fact, you are a good follower. You're a good follower of Christ. <laughs> 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 because what I found out along the line is that um, I have done Lionheart, did mm. Professor John Bull, I did Dan, just name it, um, Up North and so on. Mm. And they had nothing to do with going to Juju and all the stuff. Because the actor has to be flexible. Mm. You know, if they try your in this role of presenter, the next one, they should give you a mechanic. Mm. Uh, how well have you performed in that mechanic role is what should concern your audience. And I think it's only in Nigeria, not even in Africa, mm -hmm. that this type casting, uh, people talk about it. If you look at Sylvester Stallone, he would always be the hard guy. Look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm. That's what it is. Yeah. Do you understand? Absolutely. They don't see it as typecast. They look at the flexibility of the actor in that role is playing. Mm -hmm. And not about, uh, you did a hard guy here, I did a hard... That's how Nigerians quantify you and qualify you. And that's not good for those of us in the profession. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. for the um, Oscars and so on, they look at you for the role you've played and not whether it is almost the same thing with the other role you played. There's always flexibility in what an actor is for this role mm -hmm. and what is playing for the next role. Mm -hmm. Looking at my son mm -hmm. in the same movie and what he's doing mm -hmm. gave me an idea of what children copy from their parents and the need, the need for us to keep values in the family. Mm -hmm. The children tend to take the ways of their parents. Mm -hmm. If you are a man who picks your nose each time you are talking, your child from that age picks his nose or her nose thinking is the right thing to, to do. do. So if we want a society that is sane, we need to build the smallest unit of the society, which is the family. Mm. And that was, for me, the most important thing that was done in living in bondage. Mm. I mean, and this son, my son, 28 years later, yeah. or 30 years later, yeah. came to relieve the lives yeah. uh, of what a society they have lived in, what they have learned, and so on. And that's why in a family where you have fa a, a family of five and the father is there, uh, one child may take from the mother mm -hmm. or from the father in mm -hmm. terms of talking, in terms of being tough, in terms of uh, doing certain things in the society that are s seen as misconduct or malpractice and so on. Mm. So we need to build better values in society. Right. I have always wanted to be a lawyer. That's uh, just the first thing I'll say. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. In 1994-95, when I got admission to study philosophy, um, it was law I wanted. I was angry that University of Lagos gave me a philosophy and so on. But my wife said, just go ahead and read it. Don't lose one year and so on. So I'm grudgingly, I just went. It was what I wanted. Right. And because for me, what I do on TV is what a lawyer does in court, but mm -hmm. under different auspices. Mm -hmm. You know, you, like Shakespeare said, what is, sta is a stage. You must have a stage to make your statement. So a lawyer goes to court. And if he does not make the points well, he loses the case because it's based on evidence. He loses the case. You go to jail. If you're an operating table of a doctor and the doctor does not do his job well, mm. the patient died. So that word, the word is a stage, means we all have different stages to perform our trade. Yeah. You know, so for me, being a lawyer gives you the advantage to speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. Yeah. Speak for those who are oppressed. Mm. Speak for those who murmur. Speak for those you have not even met one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. So for me, being a lawyer has um, been my long, long life dream. Mm. And in um, 2020, I was called to, to the, the bar as yeah. a barrister and solicitor. So <laughs> to you, <laughs> my, my, my senior colleague. <laughs> I bow, I bow, but that's what it is. That's what I like that's law for, law yes. has hierarchy. Yes. In court now, in court now, of course, you have to speak before I speak. Mm. And that's one thing people must understand. Yeah. Law is a profession that has hierarchy, that's um, yeah. shrouded in some mystery because um, you don't understand what they do. But 
the issue of determining somebody's life, yeah. just like the doctors, is in the life of a lawyer, it's in, is in the hands of a lawyer. Yeah. Thank you for joining our YouTube channel. I know, I hope um, you loved that video and you connected with it. Don't forget, please subscribe, please like, please share with your friends and family. Please comment. We love to see your comments and to see the full versions. Join our community right now or past episodes on watch.withtoday.com. Let's be human together.